In my last Green Arrow video, I spoke about how 2019 was the worst year for Green Arrow fans. His TV show and ongoing series ended, and almost immediately he went from one of DC's important characters to just irrelevant. The comic book guys must have heard the cries of Green Arrow fans, because this year we're seeing DC push more of our favorite Archer and his crew. What's going on y'all, your Roll of Queen, and in this video we're breaking down how DC Comics has revived Green Arrow. If you haven't already, please hit that like, please hit that subscribe button, and it's on your notifications so you're always in the loop when if I drop new videos. Also, please check out the Comics Code Authority podcast, where it's me and two friends of the channel, Elvis and AJ, sit down and talk about the current news happening in comics. Things kicked off immediately for the Green Arrow family, starting with Infinite Frontier, where Harper, who was brought back to life, was thrown right into the newest multiversal shenanigans. In the process, he gets a Black Lantern ring that reveals his daughter Leanne is alive, and after the battle with Darkseid, he's determined to reunite with her. But not before reuniting with his Titans family, which will be happening in Teen Titans Academy issues 9 and 10. Both Green Arrow and Black Canary started getting some major pushes in several books. In Justice League, both have been bumped to the main roster, with Green Arrow allegedly being the leader, and the one funding the league since Batman is broke. On the side, he's also funding and running around with Checkmate, a group of DC's best detectives who's still trying to dismantle Leviathan. According to Bendis who's writing both books, there's gonna be some overlap, with Green Arrow's loyalties being questioned. Green Arrow was also a supporting character in the first arc of Jeremy Adams' Flash. He, Barry, and Mr. Terrific aided Wally as he traveled through time fixing his sickness in the Speed Force. The journey leads Wally to the exact moment that kicked off the controversial Heroes in Crisis event. In the 2021 annual, the team learns that after all this time, Wally was not responsible for killing Roy and the other heroes. It was Savitar who caused his powers to go haywire. Where Harper also plays a role in relieving Wally of his guilt and providing Green Arrow the closure he needed since his death. Lastly, Brandon Thomas will be adding some more variety for Green Arrow fans with his Deep Target miniseries. Here, Green Arrow and Aquaman will team up for a mind-bending and world-altering story. Seeing how we barely see these two interact, this should be a fun story. Black Canary has also been busy this year. In Batman Urban Legends, Oracle calls on her to infiltrate Trust, an organization that bought up all of Batman's stolen tech from the Joke War. Black Canary makes an impression on Trust's leader after saving her life and gets invited to join the organization. She's quick to join after learning Trust's purpose is to get rid of the world's most horrible villains and that her family was once affiliated with them. Right away, she's given her first mission and partner who's no other than Slade Wilson, setting the stage for Deathstroke Inc., where she'll be keeping a tight leash on him, or at least trying to. Meanwhile, Connor Hawk has returned to the DCU and is in the Robin series, where he's now a member of the League of Shadows and is partaking in the Lazarus Tournament. This tournament has brought together some of the best fighters of the DCU who look to gain immortality if they win. Now, based on this conversation with Damien, it's clear that his father, Green Arrow, has no idea he's back. By now, it's clear that the Green Arrow family is scattered across the DCU. And with no Green Arrow book, it may look like they won't be reunited, but that's not the case. According to Williamson, everyone will be playing an important role in whatever books they're in, and it'll all lead to them coming together in early 2022. For those like myself who've been waiting for another Green Arrow book, this is great news. We're itching on three years since the last one, so best believe we're impatient for another book. In the meantime, it looks like DC is trying to do right by Green Arrow fans, even if that means you have to follow multiple books to keep tabs on them. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. What books or Green Arrow characters are you enjoying? And what do you want to see in a brand new Green Arrow book? Thank you guys for checking out the content. If you guys haven't already, please hit that like, please hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Much love, much peace, be easy, roll the queen out.